Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In this video, I will show you this feature-packed, very compact car dash camera. This one I have here is model number Mini 0805P. It records in 1296P or 1080P and 720P. This unit has a 1.5 inch color LCD display. It supports up to 64 gig micro SD card. It also uses a super capacitor instead of a rechargeable battery so you don't have to worry about the unit failing in about a year or two years time. It has a built-in G sensor so it automatically detect any hard impact to the vehicle and lock that video clip in. On top of that it even comes with a GPS module so it can log all the data while you're driving. You can enable the unit to do lane departure warning system, front collision warning system. Now these type of detection systems as I've shown you in other dash cam review videos might not always be 100% accurate but you do have the option to enable it or disable it if you want. Now one additional feature this unit has is something called parking guard. In some other dash cam they might call it parking mode and what that does is when you have your vehicle parked it can actually detect motion or impact and begin recording but with that feature you normally need to have an external battery source to power the dash cam. With this camera it uses a special module where it will actually get the power from your car battery it will do the recording and it will automatically shut off on its own and I will show you that module later on when I unbox it however I want to let you know that I will do a separate video just on that feature because that module requires hard wiring it to your vehicle it's not a simple plug and play so let me go ahead and unbox this and I'll show you what comes with this dash cam here's a dash cam as you can see very compact in this box we have the GPS module along with some installation hardware here is the USB cable user manual in this other box we have the cigarette lighter power cord and this is the parking guard power supply module here's a look at everything you get with this dash cam let's have a closer look at this dash cam here we have a 1.5 inch color LCD display this is the up select button also serve as the menu button or the mute button in the middle we have the OK button below that this is the down select button also serve as the playback or SOS button to lock the video clip on the bottom we have the micro SD card slot this unit supports up to 64 gig memory size over here this is the HDMI port looking at the top we have the micro SD connector to power this unit up this is the AV audio video port on this side we have the power button on the top we have the contacts to connect to the GPS module looking at the front here is the camera lens here's a speaker and here's a microphone to connect the GPS module onto the dash cam there are these contacts here go ahead and slide this module over the top of this dash cam with these contacts and it will lock into place now this dash cam does not use a windshield suction cup mount instead at the top of the GPS module there is a double sided tape you remove the backing and then you stick this onto the windshield to adjust the angle of the camera once you have this installed on the windshield you can rotate this to adjust the angle so here I'm going to install the micro SD card let me take a minute to talk about the different options you have to power this dash cam and this type of power plug should look very familiar here we have the cigarette lighter plug on one end and on the other end we have the USB connector so this plugs into your vehicle and this end with a USB connector connect to your dash cam if your cigarette lighter plug is controlled by your ignition every time you start your vehicle it will power on the dash cam every time you turn off the ignition the dash cam will turn off now with this dash cam they give you another option of powering up the dash cam here is a hard wire kit you can install is not plug and play you do have to wire this into your vehicle's ground 
accessory 12 volt and constant 12 volt. What this will give you is something called parking guard. Now normally when you have this type of wiring when you turn off the ignition there's no more power going to the dash cam. However if you hardwire this to your vehicle the dash cam can continue to monitor any activity while your vehicle is parked. And if it detects any motion this unit will allow the dash cam to power on and record that video clip. Now for this video review I will only be using this cigarette lighter plug to power this on. I will do a second video where I hardwire this into my vehicle and then I will show you how that parking guard feature work. Now I'm going to power on the dash cam. Now with the LCD screen being one and a half inch in size, I really have to zoom in with my camera to show you the display. But the resolution is pretty good. I can actually make out and read all the numbers and text on this display. But you'll notice that once the unit is powered on, the recording has started right here. The red dot is flashing. If you want to stop the recording, press the OK button right here. Now while the recording has stopped, if you press and hold the up select button, you'll go into the menu setup. Here is resolution. You can choose different resolution. Next is photo size. Next one's quality. Recycle is one minute, three minutes, or five minute. The recycle is the loop recording. So I'm going to set it for three minutes loop recording. So when the dash cam is recording video, it will do three minute video clips continuously. And once the memory card is full, it will overwrite the first and oldest video clip and continue recording these video clips. Deep sound is going to be on or off. EV, exposure value, you can increase the exposure or decrease the exposure. White balance, by default, is going to be auto. Next one is ISO sensitivity, by default, is auto. G sensor setting, right now it's set to middle. With a G sensor, the dash cam can actually detect hard impact or collision in your vehicle. Once it detects that, it will lock that video clip so it will not be overwritten. LDWS, Lane Departure Warning System. You can turn on or off. By default, it's off. Front Collision Warning System is on or off. Default is off. SAGS, Lane Departure Warning System Calibration. If you turn this on, you can set the bottom line to the front of the hood and the red line to the horizon of the road. The lane departure warning system and the front collision warning system uses these two reference points to give you those warnings. Contrast, you can set the contrast of the LCD display. Sharpness, WNR is wind noise reduction. I'm not quite sure why you would want that in a vehicle but it is an option. By default it's off. Speed unit, you can change from kilometers per hour to miles per hour. Day stamp, if you want to add a day stamp to your video clip. Parking mode, you can turn on or off. Driver number, GPS stamp, speed stamp, language, here you can select different languages. TV type, NTSC or PAL. Flicker, this is going to be 50 hertz or 60 hertz. power off screen so if you're recording and you want the LCD screen to turn off you can set this here time zone power off temperature time setup format to format your micro SD card default setting to restore to factory default and here's a version for the version of the software in this dash cam now we're back to resolution when you're done press and hold the menu button now while the dash cam is recording, if you press the up select button, that will mute the audio. There's an icon at the top right hand corner. Press it again to unmute. If you press the down arrow button, this will lock the video clip. This is the SOS mode. And it's indicated by the lock icon at the bottom here. Press it again, you can unlock the video clip. If you press and hold the down button, you go into photo taking mode. Press and hold again the down button, 
Now you can select normal mode, parking mode, or photo. Press and hold the down button again. Now you're in a playback mode. Do the same thing. Press and hold the down button. Now you're back at the video record mode. Press OK to begin recording. To install this dash cam, remove the backing on this double side tape and then stick it onto the windshield. After you place it on the windshield, you can adjust the angle by rotating this. The power cable that comes with this dash cam is 11 feet long, so that will give you enough length to run up to the headliner, over to the A pillar, and down to your cigarette lighter plug. Connect this plug to the cigarette lighter outlet. Now when you start the car, the dash cam will turn on. If you want to see the GPS data that's recorded in each video clip by your dash cam, go ahead and connect the dash cam to your computer using the USB cable and this folder will open up. Here you'll find there is a folder called DSIM. Open that up and then you'll see all the video clips that were recorded by the dash cam. Now if we go back to the root directory, there's also a folder called player. Open this up. And here you see a program called qtplayer.exe. There is no installation that you need to do. All you have to do is double click on it and the software will open up. With the software open, go ahead and click on this icon right here, load file. Choose the dash cams directory. Select OK and then give it a second and all the files will be loaded into the software. Now you can go ahead and double click on one of these video files and you'll see the top window showing the video that was recorded. Over here on the right this is the Google map with the direction that you're traveling on. At the bottom we have the speed along with the longitude and latitude. Well, I hope you enjoy watching the review of this Mini 0805P car dash camera. As you can see, this camera is packed with features. And also, I like the fact that it's very compact, so it doesn't occupy a lot of space on your windshield. The overall design is very good. The GPS module doubles up as the windshield mount also. As you can see from the video clip, the daytime video is excellent, very clear. You can make out license plate numbers without any problems. As for the nighttime recording, I found the video to have good exposure and low light condition, so the picture is not too dark. If you want to check out this product, I got this on GearBest.com, and at the time of doing this review, this retail for less than 70 US dollars, which is a great value considering all the features that come with this dash cam. Now I'll put the link for this product in the description below so you can check it out. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section below. And don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.